Welcome to this Star Solution budget meal video. This is a collab with Starfields where I make one meal and she makes one meal here on my channel. Afterwards, go to her channel to check out our other two meals. For this recipe, since I have a small container to mix, I make a double. So everything I'm gonna say, you're gonna do double. So I'm doing two cups of oats and I'm gonna be blending those to make a flour. So I have sifted this and these are kind of not sifting anymore, so I think it's good. The flour is nice and fine. I'm using one tablespoon of baking powder. I'm using half teaspoon salt. I'm using half a cup of applesauce. Then I'm using half a cup of the almond milk. You're putting the topping mixture aside and you're gonna start with your vegetables. I'm adding my California blend. I'm adding a little bit of my Mediterranean blend. I'm adding a little bit of my peas and carrots. Oh, that's a little too much. Now I'm adding my seasonings. Homemade vegetable broth going in just to moisten it. And I'm gonna mix it up. I'm adding a tablespoon of cornstarch just to thicken while it's cooking. Okay, now that you have mixed all your vegetables in together and your cornstarch and your seasonings, you are going to put the mix on top. You will definitely need to double the biscuit topping recipe because I had to make another batch. And you just wanna cover everything. Preheat your oven to 350, I already did that. This is my veggie pie, it just came out and it looks beautiful. And here it is, my delicious vegetable pie. I have enough for a couple of servings or a couple of people. Let's try this piece. It tastes like a stew that you were making and you decided to put some biscuits with it. So I'm very pleased how this came out. Thank you so much, Miss Lee, for having us on your channel. This $20 Whole Foods challenge was so much fun. It really expanded my mind and let me know that I could go to Whole Foods without spending the whole check, okay? So I ended up getting 11 items at Whole Foods for $22.77, and we made all these delicious recipes that you see here. In today's video, we're gonna be making a delicious creamy corn chowder soup, which is perfect for this time of the year. To see the rest of the recipes, there'll be a link in the description box. So make sure you guys head on over to my channel, Star Fields, and check those recipes out. All right, we're gonna go ahead and peel the potatoes from our five pound bag of potatoes that we picked up. This is all the potatoes that we have to work with for our corn chowder. We're gonna air fry our Brussels sprout. We ended up using about six potatoes out of that five pound bag of potatoes, which was $3.99. We used one pound of baby carrots and that bag of baby carrots was $1.29 and one can of corn and that can of corn was $2.49. All right guys, this is just some fresh seasoning that we had left over, which consists of red pepper, green pepper, yellow pepper, some onion and some celery. Um, we just had some frozen in the freezer already. Add your favorite flavors and it'll cook right into your chowder. We're gonna go ahead and add the corn. Remember, I also picked up some soy milk, so we're gonna add that in as well. And this is gonna just help it be nice and creamy. And this is about two cups. I'm using one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of thyme leaves, one teaspoon of seasoning blend. And like I said, you guys use whatever seasonings you have at your house that you like. This. This is just Morton's, okay? Just give it a little stir so all of the seasoning can be in the broth. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on for 15 minutes. And while that's cooking, that's plenty enough time for me to go ahead and throw my Brussels sprouts in the air fryer for 20 minutes on 400. 
Alrighty guys, so the corn chowder looks absolutely amazing. It's still got some bigger pieces of potato. So I wanna make my corn chowder just a little bit creamier, so I'm just gonna take my immersion blender here and just go over some of those potatoes and just kind of blend it down and you guys can see just so it gets it a little bit creamier. Look how good that looks, you guys. This was the perfect consistency and we have been eating off of this corn chowder, you guys, for the last few days and it has been absolutely amazing. We got so much food to eat tonight. <laughs> So there you have it, you guys, a perfect creamy corn chowder soup, perfect for any time of the year, served with some crunchy, delicious Brussels sprouts, a perfect 50-50 plate. Make sure you check out our first video linked in the description below.